in part one, I did a tabletop review of what is almost certainly a prototype combination uh, muzzle brake and solvent trap adapter from the folks at Infinite Product Solutions. Uh, if you haven't seen part one, click on the link to watch that video. It'll bring you up to speed. Here in part two, we'll clean a Ruger semi-auto to see how this device performs as a solvent trap adapter. That's coming up next on Mostly 22LR. Okay, so in order to use this as a solvent trap adapter, we're going to need to put it on a rifle and actually clean a rifle. By sheer coincidence, uh, a Ruger Charger takedown has just entered my collection. <laughs> it's only been in my collection for a couple of days. I've spent the last couple of days getting used to uh, a Ruger, and uh, so let's go ahead and, and put that in here. Right, come on, Rob. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and try and clean this as if it was just a regular Ruger 1022, where we would have to open up the bolt and, or, uh, oh yeah, open up the bolt and then uh, go ahead and, and uh, run the uh, cleaning rod. You can't run the cleaning rod from this direction if you're using this, but we'll go ahead and try it and see how it works. I, I do want to use the Ruger 1022 though for that reason. It's nice. It's the only semi-auto I brought with me today. So now, obviously, uh, using it as a um, Using it as a solvent trap adapter, we're going to install it. And I like how on this uh, charger, the uh, I'm going to go ahead and, and uh, show it to you this way because I know we're clear. Notice here, when this locked into position, my ports are on the sides, which is great because as a uh, solvent or uh, as a um, uh, a muzzle brake, I want those to be going perpendicular to the bore and I want them to be going perpendicular to the rise. So these are going along the z-axis, which is fine there. But I would need a, um, if I wanted to tune this, I would need some sort of a, um, uh, of a jam nut to be able to control where that position is. So again, watch that David Tubb video to see why you would need that jam nut. Now I wondered about how I was going to clean a semi-automatic with a, uh, an oil filter up on front. And you can see here, I've got a couple of different products from Hoppies. I shouldn't be uh, spitting on my, on my brand new gun. One is a um, foaming bore cleaner. This is the Hoppies number no. 9 Synthetic Blend Foaming Bore Cleaner, Ultimate Bore Cleaner for the Modern Rifle. And uh, that will foam up. And then this one is a, uh, a gel high performance technology. This is the Hoppies Elite Bore Gel. So what I could do is by opening this bad boy up, I could go ahead and spray my foaming bore cleaner into here, or I could drop in my, well, my gel's not going to go in very easily, is it? Hmm. So I guess what I would need here, oh, I can still use the bore gel. That's not a problem on bolts and whatnot, but I'm going to have to need, I'm going to need this uh, little tube right here. Let's go ahead and pull that out. And let's just go ahead. I like that. Man, that's getting into everything, isn't it? Very nice. Oh, wow. Look at that. Daddy likes that. Daddy likes that a lot. I'm definitely getting into everything there. Now, what I like about this is that if I had something that was uh, aggressive, a really aggressive cleaner. Uh, let's see, this might be, yeah, cleans down to the pores, removes carbon, lead, and copper, scent free. If I had something that was really aggressive, like a brake cleaner, which I wouldn't use on this because of the wood, but if uh, I had like Safari Land brake free, or uh, I was just using automobile brake cleaner, which is the same thing at a slightly cheaper price, uh, then I would definitely want to have this out here so I don't get this on the cement on my floor, in my garage, or whatever. Uh, everything would be fine. Um, so here you can see that it actually does an interesting job. Now I've got to clean the barrel out. And uh, that's what a boar snake is for. Let's take a look and see. Yeah, baby. So you can see here I got all the way down to the um, cleaning right here. Uh, the um, solvent trap adapter did its job. Helped me protect my floor 
And Daddy likes that solvent trap adapter. So let's stop there for part two. In part three, we'll shoot that Ruger semi-auto to see how this device performs as a muzzle brake for 22LR. And in part four, which I haven't filmed yet, we'll shoot an AR-15 centerfire rifle to see how this device performs as a muzzle brake for NATO 556. Uh, those videos will be coming out immediately. They will not be scheduled for a regular Wednesday release. So stay tuned as we continue to review what is almost certainly a uh, prototype muzzle device. Until then, I'm Rob Rosenberger for Mostly 22LR. And remember, 22LR is real ammunition. Treat it as such.